These days, the prices of luxury bags have skyrocketed through the roof. Which leads me to the question, are there still bags that are actually worth the money these days? In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the top 5 luxury bags that I think are still worth the money. But before anything else, if you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. If these are the types of videos that you like watching, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button down below. And if you want to connect with me in my socials, it's at TrishDLF. With all the constant price increases from Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Hermes, all of these brands just seem to be in a rat race on who has the highest pricing. With the prices of luxury bags going from 5 grand and up, it makes you wonder if these bags are still actually worth buying. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of the bags that I think are still worth the money these days. Obviously, we are not going up into the 5 grand and upwards because I feel like those bags are already in the questionable category and when it comes to value, I don't really think there's much value in there with comparison to the actual value of the bag. When you reach five grand and up, it means that you're already the customer who doesn't really care about value anymore and you're more freely just purchasing for the brand. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the brands that I think still price their bags reasonably, although they are still very expensive. And these are bag brands that I feel still make really good quality handbags and in some way are still worth the money. When I talk about value for money, I'm referring to the quality of the handbag the lasting power, the heritage of the brand, and the functionality of it. So the bags that I compiled for this video, they're mostly going to be bags that you can use in a lot of different occasions, which is why I call them value for money because you can use them in a lot of different scenarios. They are bags that are practical, flexible, and can take you from day to night. And most of these are kind of in classic silhouettes, so they aren't trendy bags. They're bags that can definitely last you a lifetime. So number one on this list, and this already going to be the most expensive bag that I'm going to be talking about today, it's the Loewe Puzzle Bag. So I would recommend the Loewe Puzzle Bag in the size small and in the natural grain leather. And the specific style retails at $31.50 US dollars. Loewe is a brand with great craftsmanship and the Loewe Puzzle Bag shows just that. They're said to use the same quality type of leather as Hermes. So with regard to the quality and the finish of the bags, I would say that they are definitely comparable to Hermes. The Puzzle Bag has been in production for quite a while now and has definitely taken a seat along with the classics. It used to be an understated bag and only the fashion aficionados really knew about the bag but now it's kind of gone into mainstream and so a lot more people have it. However, it's also due to the quality of the handbag that's why it gained so much popularity. Loewe's leather is very soft and it's structured in such a way that it won't really lose its shape or if it does, it gives that really beautiful slouchy effect. That's why I think that this bag only gets more beautiful with age and when it slouches with time, it just gives this really soft plush effect that doesn't actually look like wear and tear. It gives more of that effect of a bag aging gracefully. The Loewe puzzle bag can also be worn in a number of ways. It has a top handle so you can put it on the crook of your arm, you can hold it as a top handle, and it also comes with a long strap that you can put on your shoulder, you can use it as a crossbody, and you can even wear it as a backpack. I believe the puzzle bag has like around seven ways to wear, so you can just google that because a lot of YouTubers have already done videos on it. But yeah, this is a multifunctional bag. It's hard wearing, very high quality. This is a bag that you can buy and definitely keep for years to come and because it's so understated, it's not so trendy, it's already become a classic design so this is something that you can wear for a very long time without necessarily giving away the era where it came from. At $31.50 US dollars, this is the most expensive bag in this list but it also has the best quality among all of these bags. Next bag is a fairly new bag and it's the Gucci Aphrodite Small Shoulder Bag. This one retails at $1,980 US dollars and I'm gonna be honest, I was actually thinking of putting the Prada Re-Edition Pochette in this list because that one retails for I think 1950 US dollars but then I kept thinking to myself I'm talking about bags that are actually valuable or like worth their money and I kept asking myself like is this nylon bag actually worth it? I mean for the price range and for the trendiness of it it's kind of very tempting to go for the Prada edition but I thought when you look at the long term nylon doesn't really wear very well and we're looking at value here and nylon is pretty cheap so to be priced in that range I was like okay 
Filipino. And then I found the Gucci Aphrodite shoulder bag, and this one's made in leather, so it's pretty similar to the re-edition with a shoulder strap. The Gucci Aphrodite is a shoulder bag with a chain strap, and it also comes with a leather detachable strap as well. So it's kind of similar in the sense that it kind of has the same aspects, the same shape as the Prada re-edition, except this one's in leather. So what I like about this Gucci Aphrodite, aside from the price, is that it's kind of like in the trendy category. However, because of the make and the materials of it, this is something that I can actually see retaining its popularity in the long run. Because it's leather, it'll definitely last longer. And again, something about the functionality of it, there's lots of ways to wear it. Right now, the trends are more into multifunctional bags, bags that you can switch up the ways to wear. So with the Gucci Aphrodite, you can wear it with a leather strap as a shoulder bag just to make it casual. And then I believe it also has like a connecting leather strap. So you can actually make it as a crossbody. So you can wear that for like an everyday casual look. And then if you're off to a night out, you can just remove the leather straps, change it to the chain strap, and it'll instantly be changed into a glam party bag. At 1980 US dollars, this is a bag that can take you from day to night, and it's a fairly new bag, so it still has a long road ahead of it. Next is the Louis Vuitton Alma BB, and this one is a classic at only 1760 US dollars. At 1760 US dollars, this is the cheapest bag in this list, but I think that this bag is such a great classic because it's a bag that is actually more casual. I was actually thinking of the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandolier or the Louis Vuitton Neverfull, but I realized that those bags are actually more into the casual side, so I wanted to pick something from Louis Vuitton that can actually be more casual but can also be dressed up. And at this price, it's already such a great value for this bag because the Louis Vuitton Alma BB has been a classic for since God knows when, I think since the beginning of time. So the Alma, it's part of the OG released classic bags such as the Speedy and the Neverfull. So for that amount, under two grand, can you imagine? Like, can you even buy any luxury bags under two grand these days? But for that price, you're already getting the heritage of this classic bag, of this bag that has withstood the test of time. So I definitely think that that's value for money. The specific style that's priced at 1760 US dollars is in the canvas version because the Alma BB also comes in the leather version, but obviously that's more expensive. But this one, it comes in the canvas, and you guys know what they say about the Louis Vuitton canvas. It, it is the most hard-wearing canvas material. A lot of LV canvas bags have withstood the test of time. Like, you'd see a lot of vintage bags. That's why Louis Vuitton vintage got so popular. There would be bags that were 50 years old and were still very usable. That's why there's a lot of them in the pre-loved market. So definitely, we we'll get a lot out of this bag. And wear and tear would take a while to show because you know what they say about Louis Vuitton bags. They are almost indestructible. Next on this list is the Celine belt bag. Now, the belt bag has been in production for quite some time already. I think it launched in 2014 and it's still being produced up to today. So for the belt bag, I would recommend it either in the nano size or in the micro size. So the nano is actually not so small. It's about like this big while the micro is like more of like a day bag so it's a little bigger. Um, I think more of like comparable to a speedy 30 size. So the nano size is at 2450 US dollars and the micro is at 2700 US dollars. So I recommend this bag because Celine also has very good quality and when I looked at the list of bags that Celine currently offers, a lot of their bags are actually very expensive already. Um, like the box bag is at four grand. Like the Triumph box bag is at like four to five grand already. And even the Rami bag, it's also in that level. So yeah, a lot of expensive stuff at Celine, but the quality is really good, hence the price tag. However, these were the bags that I saw that were fairly in the more affordable side in their website. And I didn't realize that they actually still had like lower priced items. I was actually pretty surprised at the prices of the luggage bag and the belt bag because back then, like in like 2014, these bags were like the really hype bags and like really expensive and now they're actually lower in price so that was pretty surprising but i think that now is actually the best time for these bags in comparison to the triumph line and the celine 16 bags the belt bags are definitely already on the more affordable side so i'm recommending this because similar to the Loewe puzzle bag the design of it is very understated there's no physical branding it's just basically the design that presents itself so with these types of bags they're kind of like the if you know you know 
kind of bags. So I feel like that element of it is what makes it more timeless. If you're the type who just wants a beautifully designed bag with great quality and will not date you, I think that this is a great bag for you. The leather of this is in this grain calfskin which looks very hard wearing, so it is a bag that will take a while to get beat up. Finally, for the fifth item in this list, I'm cheating here but I actually have three bags for my number five item. And I originally just wanted to put one in, however I realized that they were all in the same price range and they kind of have the same function, so I thought why not give a bonus and give out three bags for number five. So for number five on this list, the three bags are going to be the Celine Sangle So Tote, the Loewe Anagram Tote Bag, and the Gucci Ophidia Tote Bag. Now they are all totes, but their prices are all in the two grand price range. So we'll start with the Celine Sangle So. So this one's at 2550 US dollars. So this one I would say is like a tote redefined because it is a vertical type of tote bag instead of your usual horizontal tote bag. Now this bag is very simple. It's basically just a tote bucket bag with a canvas strap, but the design of this is very practical and easy to use. Again, this bag just goes on with the Celine aesthetic. It's very understated. It's very timeless. Its details are very subtle and simple, so this is a bag that will last the test of time. Next is the Loewe Small Anagram Tote Bag, and this bag is at $2,250. US This is also a fairly new bag, but I would say that it is definitely value for money because of the amount of leather that you get for the price. So the small tote bag is actually pretty big. It's probably like this size, and at $2,250, US you can't really get that big of a leather bag with that amount these days. So the Anagram tote bag is in all leather and it's kind of similar to the Louis Vuitton On The Go tote. That's the design that a lot of other brands copied. On The Go is really the original tote bag and then all the other designer brands just followed suit after. So with regard to design, the Anagram tote bag copy is a top handle type and then it has like a shoulder strap option. However, you have to note that this is in all leather. So this is an all leather bag whereas the Louis Vuitton On The Go is in canvas and that one is at three grand, three grand plus now. So if you compare the pricing with regards to totes, the Loewe Anagram tote bag is definitely more value for money than the canvas tote of Louis Vuitton. Similarly, there's the Gucci Ophidia tote bag, which also copy the on the go. So as you can see guys, designers tend to just copy one another, especially if there's a specific style of bag that becomes popular. So the designers like make their own version of it. Now the Ophidia tote bag is also fairly new. I think it just came out this year. It has the top handle and a shoulder strap option. However, for the Ophidia tote bag, it comes in two variants. So you can get in the canvas version, similar to what Louis Vuitton on the go offers. That one is at 1650 US dollars. And then they also have the leather option, which is at 2250 US dollars. So the Gucci Ophidia actually offers the canvas version, similar to the Louis Vuitton on the go. However, the pricing is at half the price, 1650 versus like three grand plus. And that's the price difference of it for the same material. So that's something to think about if you're deciding on a tote bag. And of course, even the leather version at 2250 US dollars, that's still cheaper and you already got a leather version that's going to last you longer and was definitely more expensive to make. So those are my top five or seven value for money bags. Somehow with all these price increases, there are still some good brands that offer some value for money there. If you guys were thinking of buying a new bag this year, I hope I gave you some insight on like the value of these bags. And if you are the type who's very practical, I think that these are already the best options for you. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I'm trying to reach 3,000 subscribers this year, so if you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that like button down below to help the YouTube algorithm, and if you want to connect with me on my socials, it's at TrishDLF. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it if you could. I would really be happy to reach 3k this year, so every subscriber counts. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!